Well, there we go. We'll start. Mm -hmm. Welcome to another episode of the Average Two Podcast. My name is Ross. Fucking hell, Ross! Put your fucking finger over Ross. Get excited about it. With is Alex. Yo. Uh, Let's stop that one. All right. Let's get let's get let's get straight on into it. Let's get cracking. So has there been loads of news? Yes. (laughs) Do I remember any of it? (laughs) Absolutely fucking not. (laughs) Spider Man's back in the MCU. Oh yeah, they managed to fucking sort themselves out. For another out. few films. Crack him. Yeah, uh, a few people have been cast in the new Batman movie, and by that I mean Jonah Hill, the last I heard Jonah Hill oh, was meant to be in that. it, <laughs> as either the Penguin or the Riddler. I could see that. That's pretty as cool. both. Yeah, yeah I could see that. There was that trailer for the new Michael Bay movie with Ryan Reynolds, Six Underground. Oh yeah. Looked shit. Yes. Kevin Smith said the Clerks 3 is happening again. Have you Whoa. seen the Clerks? Nope. Oh, they, they're all right. I don't care. The Birds of Prey trailer came out. Yes. Looks shit. Yeah. That'll probably be good. <laughs> I, I like guess. how we just shit on everything until we actually see it. Until we'll we, come until Birds we, of Prey. Well, too bad, actually. Until we're really for something. Yeah. There was also the trailer, which just came out of nowhere, for a movie called The Gentleman, which is Guy Ritchie... He's doing it with Matt McConaughey. It's like a like a gangster movie again. It's like he's gone back to do another gangster movie. Mm. And guess what? It looks, looks terrible. Yeah, it does look shit. I just watched the um, Zach Galifianakis thing on Netflix. Oh where yeah, he, where he interviews people. Matthew McConaughey's in that. Is that the movie one? Yeah, or well, he's interviewing. How was it? It's not too bad. Oh, it's not great. People said that that was his, that was Zach's. Masterpiece or something. It's not a masterpiece. I won't say it's that's what. That's what like people were really raving about. It's it, but... actually, it's like stupid humor. Yeah, like, okay. I wouldn't. It's not. Fun, it's not clever. It's just stupid humor. Yeah. Oh, also, um, Robert Forrester died last night. He was in like oh, Jackie he? Brown and stuff. He was quite good actually. That was a bit surprising. Oh okay. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah. There's there's just been because there's just been trailers and shit. Nothing. Outside, we got another Charlie's Angels trailer. Didn't see it. Doctor Sleep's coming out. Oh yeah, that's out soon, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Terminator comes out soon as well. Not bothered about that. Um, we'll see it because I do actually want to kind yeah. of want to see it. It doesn't look that. If terrible. it's over two hours, I oh, will, it absolutely I will, will be. I will kill myself. I'm going to Google it right now to tell you how long it is. I can take two hours. Two hours fourteen. That's disgraceful. Mm, it's bearable though. That's disgraceful. It's doable. No, I don't want to see. I want to see Arnie for two hours fifteen minutes. I don't think anyone wants no, to even yeah, see him yeah, anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, also that um, Breaking Bad movie came out. I've never watched Breaking Bad, so no. I, yeah, exactly. I don't, don't care for it. Yeah, so I'm not gonna bother watching that either. Well, I think that that's... Um... Uh, we've wrapped it up, as always, <laughs> pretty nicely. <laughs> yeah. I think we've done pretty I, terrifically. I think everyone's caught up. <laughs> Everyone knows what's going on. <laughs> that is everything that's happened in the film industry. Yeah. All right. So we haven't obviously done one of these in a while, so we have a couple of things to talk about. Someone's to fuck off to Chicago. Yeah, I know. No one's dedicated to the cause. <laughs> like you. I'm always dedicated to the cause. <laughs> Fucking hell, Ross. So we just film this piece of shit and get this fucking over with. <laughs> As I'm saying, in my box. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Could have at least shaved. God. What? All right. I guess, should we talk about Judy first? Because we'll, yeah, we'll do what we did last, last time where we, we rattle for him because yeah. there's a couple. Uh, Judy, about Judy Garland. Yeah, the kind of the last couple of months of her life. life. Yeah. Sort of. Uh, mm, probably yeah. spoilers. Yeah. Not no, not the last couple of months. It's like the last period of her life, where she meets <laughs> her husband. It was directed by Rupert Good. Rupert, Rupert Grint. Then I was like, whoa. No. Could you imagine? He's a CBE. Why is he a CBE? Rupert Gould. He's in. What's he? Oh, he was like an artistic. Uh, he's a theatre director. Oh, no one cares about that, do they? He hasn't even done anything. He hasn't even done a movie. He hasn't done anything oh substantial. Oh, he did this fucking movie with Joan Hill yeah, I just saw that. Yeah. James Franco. I I have that on my iTunes. I've never watched it because I don't like the look of it. <laughs> you I'm brought, not against I like it. how you brought it. No. And then haven't watched it because you didn't like the look. You no, brought no, it because no, you didn't no. like the look of it. Was it was in a bundle, oh, so I was forced. God. They forced my hand. Forced well, anyway, right. Judy. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of Judy? It was fairly average. Yeah, <laughs> it was fine. Yeah. You know, I mean, I was, I, I was 
buzzing to see this. Yeah, because we thought As it was going to be something... We didn't know the story of her life too no. well. I wanted, like, a full-on biopic. Yeah. I wanted more Wizard of Oz shit. But... Yeah. But no, they decided to go with this. It's a weird yeah. one, yeah? If you go on IMDb, it's on, like, a like a low... It's, like kind of seven, it's, it's on a 7.2. Yeah, exactly. Which isn't... Yeah, for when it came out, I think people thought it was going to be better. But yeah. when you see it, it's like, oh, yeah, I see why I got that rating, but yeah. she's good in it. Yeah. Like, that, that she's yeah. obviously the saving grace in why yeah, people have given it that review. Yeah. But, so yeah and Michael Gambon's in it. Yeah. Out of fucking nowhere. Everyone's good in it. Jesse Buxley, you was good in it. And I thought... Um, but, yeah, just... As we were saying earlier, like this year, it's not a bad film, but it's not a great film. It's just meh. No, I don't yeah, feel yeah. Anything I wouldn't go this. and see this. My family went to see this as well, and were like, "Hey, it was fine." Because I said that all it really was is uh, Renée Zellweger kind of like moving. Yeah, she's just moving her face the whole time. Yeah, it's about right. Yeah, and that's all I said it was, and that's basically why it's done so but well. I think if you're a Ju- Judy Garland fan, go and see it. Yeah, but it could be better. There's a lot of room yeah. for improvement in it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it shouldn't have been two hours to start with. No, yeah, it shouldn't have God. been. Uh, God. Yeah. There were some bits where you're like, you don't need this in. You don't, you, it's not putting the, fo- the story forward. No, exactly. It's not enhancing anything, so why? Why bother? But uh, it could have been worse, probably. Yeah. It could it have been was, better. There was nice elements to it. I'll never Just watch say. it again. Renee Zellweger was fantastic as always. Yeah. I, I do like her a lot. She just kind of like comes and goes. Yeah. What's it saying here that Anna Kendrick was in this movie? What? She's absolutely not in this fucking movie. She's just, Where have just, you seen that? Yeah, isn't it? It just randomly says on Wikipedia. Unless someone's just gone into... I've just exposed myself for using Wikipedia now. Well, it's not, she's not on IMDb. No, so. but she's not in the fucking movie. <laughs> we no. saw the movie. Why did you... Oh. It Fuck says so. under the starring bit, and it says like, "Yeah, it's the film stars Anna Kendrick as G- Judy Garland." Ah, that's so funny. Someone's changed it. Well, okay. Would you buy it on DVD? I could probably answer this one. No. Yeah. No. Good. I would have bought it on DVD if it was. <laughs> if it was what we thought it was going to yeah. be, yeah. If it was a full-on biopic and more Wizard of Oz shit, because Wizard of Oz is yeah. fucking class. That's probably the only time I would have taken a biopic because. You see kind of glimpses of her when she was younger. Yeah, I liked it. It's bit. kind of interesting to see yeah. how it, everything I really liked was. Those bit. Yeah, obviously it's like it's pretty horrible. Yeah. People were saying about you know how she was treated, but that stuff would have been more interested than just That's... her performing her concerts. Yeah, but obviously you can't have Renée Zellweger be her when she's like twenty five, can you? She's got no. they got to do like the older yeah, version yeah, of her. Yeah. No offense, Renée. Yeah. You're still stunning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still stunning. <laughs> she is. Anyway, I guess we can move. Should we go on to? Uh, yeah. Well, go see if you're a Judy Garland fan. <laughs> for all yeah. you Judy Garland fans out there, yeah, this, this one's for you. you. <laughs> uh, let's go on to Ready or Not. I guess. How this has a seven point one on IMDb. I don't. How many know. people reviewed it? Almost twenty thousand. Mm, that's probably why. I'm not being funny, but it says clip, and I swear that's. They probably they sometimes put the adverts in. The yeah, because it's just. I was like, I don't remember Gerald Butler being in this film. Yeah, fuck them. All right, uh, this is a new one. This was pretty bad. Yeah, is this was worse than I than I, I thought, thought. This it was had been be. quite, you know, quite culty. Like yeah. people are like ready or not. Oh yeah, that's sick. And I wanted to come out of that going. Oh, yeah. That was. Fucking I wanted sick. it to be like brutal, yeah. uh, kind of over the top brutal of yeah. her like. Well, we probably better. What happened in this film first? So, the the bride, Grace, Grace the bride, is married into this fucked up family. She's marrying. She's yeah. marrying Alex. Yeah, yeah. Alex Lee Um and the weird tradition is when someone marries into the family, they play a game, and then she draws the one card that's hide and seek, and she has to avoid being killed. Yeah, which is just until the morning. Yeah, which is fucking stupid. Yeah, so basically but, the family um, trying to. Could kill. you imagine? Like, they pull a card and it's just like chess, and they have to play chess. I'd watch that for an hour and a half instead of this. Yeah, probably be better. I mean, it's it's a weird one. Yeah, it's got some. It's weird because it sounds on paper and the trailer looks pretty neat yeah. for it. Where it's just yeah. like, yeah, she's in this bride dress with Converse on. That's yeah. the kind of that's the kind of tone of the movie. Yeah, and um, but literally. Spoilers. 
nothing fucking happens in it it's literally, it's just her running hiding she gets caught escapes yeah. runs hides gets caught again yeah. escapes i don't feel like there's any stakes in this like i'm not sat there panicking that she's going to get caught i'm kind of sat there hoping yeah. like something would happen because she actually gets out of the house that's what yeah. i thought was it's fucking weird. stupid and then it's fucking stupid she gets in this car and then it's a fancy car and then the operator just shuts down her car because yeah. she's being rude. I'm like, this is just fucking And then stupid. the fucking guy that she just ran over yeah, or appears out of nowhere. Yeah, I hate that sort of thing. It's and just I thought this film would be film. different than yeah. that. I didn't think it would have any of these kind of horrid tropes in it because it did look like a, well, look, this is a fun yeah. time because she's actually going to kill her husband's family. Yeah. And he's got to be okay with it, you know, yeah. or like, you know, everyone's going to be okay with it because it's yeah. the game. But it's it was just stupid from beginning to end. Yeah, shit. And you know, what I hate it. I hate how the whole thing was sold on. Like, as I said, she's a bride in this white dress, Converse, and she's got the uh, shotgun. Yeah. And she's got that. What's it called? Is it a bandolier? You know, when the bullets kind of wrap around. I just call them shell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shell so she had them. well, she had that like belt yeah. wrapped around her, and she looked pretty cool. And that's all the posters. And then she finally gets her that, and I thought, oh, this is it. Like, yeah. No action's been yet. She's gonna start fucking yeah. shooting people, and it's it's just a fake gun. Yeah. And so she can't actually use it. So yeah. that's just fucking ruined. And yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, I, I thought this was a bit naff. I thought it was going to be just fun. And it's just a bit... It's just, everyone's just fucking miserable in it, aren't they? Yeah, I was, about to, say, I was about to say that. I got the impression that the, even the actors themselves were like, oh, this is fucking dreadful. Yeah, and then the the ending's a bit naff. I mean, the actors are pretty pretty much unknown anyway. It looks like the majority Except of them have just... The only one I knew was Adam Brody, who was... I only know him cause from some stuff, and he's in Shazam. He's mm. he's the old one of the Shazams. He's the blue one, and oh. um, Andy McDowell's in Four Weddings and a Funeral. That's what I thought with this movie. I thought um, it's kind of like where they get in like a couple of people that you know. It's like ooh look gimmicky. We're yeah. gonna see Andy McDowell get shot with a shotgun or something, or like she's gonna like do something brutal and like yeah. kill someone. But no, she's just like in it, and then not much happens with her. Yeah, well, just... I did like seeing her again. Yeah, it was just yeah extremely disappointing. But it's horror, and it yeah. will sell. And it's a boring 90 minutes, 95 minutes as well. I mean, their budget for this was an estimated $6 million. Yeah. And their worldwide gross was 50 I know. I thought That's this, sickening. I thought this was going to be like a... Uh, who's the guy that did like... Oh, he, who keeps churning out... He did like Ma, Get Out, Up... Blum, Blumhouse, I think? Blum, Blumhouse. That's it. I thought that this was a Blumhouse movie, because it looks like one. Yeah. But it's, it it's not. But it does look exactly like a, just a cheap horror film. Yeah. Throw it out there. Yeah. Make, make make some millions. Yeah. And then just make it. And wait for the sequel next year. Basically, yeah. Ready or not, two. <laughs> but uh, I don't really know anything that these directors have done either. I was, yeah, these directors. Shame on you. Shame. <laughs> shame. On, shame on the pair of you. Uh, even the poster. I don't really like the poster. Ha! <laughs> Roasted. <laughs> Boom. No, yeah. Roasted. I think that if people could go and see it if they don't really know what to expect they might have a good time with it just there's just not really much that happens in it 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 probably could get away with, with being a 15 i would say yeah 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 well would you buy it on dvd no no not at all well let's move oh before we go on to the next one i'll quickly say i did see the goldfinch i told you this didn't yes, I? You did. I saw the goldfinch and i only bring it up because i probably preferred it to the films, the other films that we've seen. Yeah. I think it's kind of been and gone from cinemas. It didn't do too well. I really right. liked it, and it's a really great movie. Yeah. And it's two hours 15. And it's got right, because when I was watching it, I thought, I, this is the only thing I'll really say. It, you know that that um, kid Finn Wolfhard, who was, he's um, Bill Hader's young version in um, It. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, with yeah, the glasses, yeah. the funny one. He's in it, and he obviously looks like much older now. Yeah. And he's in it. Not much, but he does this. He's a Ukrainian, so he does a Ukrainian accent throughout the movie. Yeah, it is as bad as you think. That does not sound appealing. Yeah, and this is like one of the only times I actually was looking and thought, why don't you just fucking get a guy from the Ukraine, like a young kid? There's probably a child actor in the Ukraine that you can hire. Oh, yeah. But yeah, so he starts talking. He he just literally does the, the most. Generic Ukrainian out, accent. Like, I can see it coming out as like Borat. <laughs> yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and it, it, do you know his, his name is Boris oh, in right. it? Yeah, it's I mean, uh, 
Uh, it's my sister. <laughs> it, but if you get a chance to watch it, I'm okay. it is quite fortunate. And I would buy that on DVD. Yeah, I'm not But surprised. now I guess we'll talk about... <laughs> the main event. Mm. Joker. Joker. What's the story of Joker, if you can try and... It's, a, it's an origin story of Joker, I assume. You Pretty know, much. how... Yeah, Joker becomes Joker. Yeah, I guess we'll go... I mean, listen, people are probably going to go and see this no matter what, so... Yeah, I've seen it twice already. Yeah, disgrace. Not it's... disgraceful. That's a that's a medal mm. of honour. Yeah, I really like this film. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I was surprised. I really like this film. Well, I wasn't surprised. I but... could see people being pissed off because yeah. it's sort of... I think how the trailer showed it. Yeah, because... but I liked what it was. Yeah, I, liked it. I think if you knew what you were kind of going in to watch, mm. then yeah, you'd be alright. But I think mm. the trailer definitely made it out to be this like yeah. more of a kind of fast paced, yeah. bit more of a crimey thriller. Yeah. Him as the Joker, yeah. but more it's, it's more about uh, Arthur Fleck. Yeah, and spoilers because this will tell you. It's so it's a two-hour movie, and we check the time, and he's only actually in the Joker for about the last 30 minutes yeah. and a lot of the stuff he's in as the Joker is already out there in the trailer Yeah, I'd say just the kind of last main bits and more yeah. but even when I came home I saw pictures of him yeah spoilers you know at the end when he kind of with yeah. the blood he makes a smile <laughs> that I'd, I saw that on the trailer so that must be like stills of that out there or something and, yeah. yeah so if you're going into this thinking oh I can't wait to watch a Joker yeah. movie you're probably going to be one of the people like the people sat in front of us that says, well, that was disappointing. It's like, no, no, it wasn't. You just, you were... It's just not what you were expecting. Sold. Yeah, exactly. If you go in expecting a, like a slow crime film, like Drive, stuff like that, where it's like slow, yeah. and then action picks up really quickly, and then it kind of slows back down again. Yeah. It's much more like that. It was, I thought it was really enjoyable. Yeah. I like the stuff where he was just Arthur, and he was being com- a complete fucking maniac. Yeah, that's, that was some of my favourite stuff in it. Yeah. Well, that's... The, more of the stuff that you get but the last half an hour was fucking incredible yeah I loved it I liked seeing oh, him he's, when he's dancing down those yeah, steps he was just having fun when he yeah. whacking Phoenix he's just having a good time when he's dancing down those steps that is brilliant yeah I did like and it and then he yeah oh and then that last little piece he says to like the camera when he's on the talk show yeah, oh he does give a nice speech I liked all the stuff with him I liked all the stuff with um Wayne Wayne, yeah. uh, Thomas Wayne as well. Yeah, I liked all that stuff. Is him running from there? So you just had that little yeah. bit in the background of. Yeah. That was like they just felt like they had to have a bit of a social commentary in there. Yeah. But then I thought um, obviously people are going to go see this for whacking Phoenix, so yeah. nothing else really matters. Robert De Niro was it's it wasn't anything special, but I think just nice to see Robert De Niro in this type of movie. I guess. Yeah. Even though Scorsese's fucking bashing these movies, but we're not going to talk about that. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah. Even though I'm pretty sure he produced this movie as well. Yeah. No, Bradley Cooper got a producer credit for this movie. That's bollocks. Well, I bet the, he did the, nothing. The director was a. Didn't he do her Hangover? Yeah, Todd. Fitt, yeah, he did Hangover and um, Starsky and Hutch and Old School, which I, I so I really like him. Oh yeah, and he did. Um, he worked on Borat, supposedly. Just I a nice know. little link reference to the Goldfinch somehow. Yeah, but no, yeah. Uh, Go and see this movie because it is really it, good. It's overall, oh, I want this poster. It's not, I don't think it's as good as people said before the fucking thing I came want out. That, I want that poster. Yes, yeah, it's a good poster. I like that scene. That's probably the yeah, best bit I where like he's just scene. dancing yeah. on the steps. I like, I want that poster now. I liked all this, I just like seeing Joaquin Phoenix smoking a lot as well. Yeah. I like that he's he's not like this really tough guy either, no. is he? He's just a bit crazy. Yeah. Except, well, like when it comes to. Loved it. his laugh. Loved Yeah, very good laugh. Awesome. I thought, yeah, no, I really liked it. I like the really way it's told. It. Credit yeah. to Todd Phillips, who's different for him. And, uh, yeah, luckily the film worked. Luckily for them. It did, yeah. If this was the type of movie where, if it was bad, it would have been hated on so much because of, obviously, oh, yeah. the Heath Slater Joker. And... Yeah. But, no, yeah, I would say go and see it if you think you'd like it. If you, you yeah. know, you, but you've got to know that it's not that type of movie. Which it would was. be nice. Maybe the sequel, because it's absolutely made every bit of money it could. Fifty five oh. million to make it, which is pretty reasonable. Yeah. Three hundred and six at the box oh. office. Mill. 
That's quite good. Lovely. That's pretty impressive. And I like that Lovely, that's yeah. not probably the... You're kind of... Mm, mm, be careful how I say this. It's, that's probably not your average audience that was going to like the other superhero films. You know, yeah. like kids aren't going to go and see this movie. So I like that. It's kind of branched out. I think this yeah. has kind of attracted people that maybe weren't... You could watch this if you weren't like a comic book fan. Oh, yeah comic book movie fan yeah. I think that that's some of the people that is brought it's, in as well which I think, yeah I think people really just good. I think people a lot of people just go for the hype they're not comic yeah. book fans but they're seeing a lot of hype around it so they'll go and see it and end up really enjoying it yeah I think that's I think that's good so, always but yeah it was awesome and yes I'm going to buy it on Blu-ray yeah I'll probably, I would definitely rewatch. watch it I'm going to add it to my DVD list now because I have a DVD list on of Amazon. I, you know what? I haven't bought it now that we're done with that. I haven't bought a DVD in so fucking long. Oh, I haven't. Maybe about a month and a half. Because I still... I last... reckon... Yeah, I reckon that's about right for me as well. Which is shit. So I'm still having to watch movies on TV and like <laughs> Netflix and shit and Prime. I feel dirty. I know, I do. It's so like... It's so stressful. It's like... In the evening, I'm scrolling through for fucking ages trying to find something. I hate it. Yeah. And I'm literally like, oh, oh, oh but I've only got, to, I can only watch with this two hours long now. <laughs> Just scrolling through for ages. Oh, yeah. God. I tell you how, like, bad this year for cinema has been. Like, I've only got, like, f- 10 films on here that I'd buy on DVD. Oh, uh, really? What, out of all of them? Yeah, out of the close, like, 65 we've seen. Yeah. Well, at the moment in cinemas, there's not much. Like out of the stuff we've seen and the stuff that's coming out, there's not really anything like much stuff like it's mm. all, like three in a row's door, a Lion King, ready or not, it yeah. and chap, it and Rambo. So that what out of them five we got kind of one good one and yeah. we didn't mind Dora. No, we didn't mind Dora at all. As I will defend it. <laughs> yeah, it's, just been, it's been weird yeah because it's been weird because there's been trailers where I've been like oh that looks sick like yesterday do you remember that movie when I saw that oh I yeah thought, we were like that's, that's going to be, be sick and like was... a rom-com by Danny Boyle about the Beatles yeah I'll take oh, it yeah chat from EastEnders oh yeah awful then, The buddy, Lion King came out disaster Men in Black we thought would be class that was, least a complete, it. that was a complete disaster yeah that was awful that was yeah it, buddy um Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, that was terrible. That Abominable movie comes out. Oh. That's meant to be quite good, which is weird, because we, we just had that fucking small... F- what was it called? Was it small, small Foot? Yeah. yeah, we just had that come out. Was that this it? year we saw that? It was either this year or last year. I think it was last year. Back end of but last year. But I mean, year. like, how... Like, a fucking year ago, a Abominable Snowman movie came out, and now we're getting Abominable. Small Foot was last year. Yeah, but I'm yeah. saying it's only been a year since the last. Yeah, yeah. we're almost into 2020. Good. Like, we need, we need to yeah we need to get forget 2019. The year of cinema is not. No, not but there year. are some stuff. There's some stuff coming out. Yeah, I'm hoping for a strong finish. I'm hoping for a strong finish. Yeah, because we still got all I can really think about is that um, uh, Christian Bale one. The Ford versus Ferrari. Oh yeah, we got that. That looks, that. that looks quite good. Is Jane Silent Bob this year or next year? I think it's next year. Oh, we got Star Wars as well. Star Wars got Doctor. It's Doctor Sleep this year. Yeah, Doctor Sleep as well. Star Wars. I'm waiting for a trailer for Star Wars. Still, it's goddamn October. Ah, uh, the yeah, Jane Silent Bob comes out in October. I don't think so. That can't be right. So uh, it comes out this year though. Oh, okay, cool. But whether that, I don't think that Jane and Silent Bob reboot is going to be the saving grace of the year. Oh, I think it will be. <laughs> Bad Boys isn't until next year. Oh, that's fine. I'm absolutely fine with that movie not coming out. I like the first, the two Bad Boys films. Yeah, but really, this I love film... how fat Martin Lawrence is. Is he fat? Now? I didn't watch fat. the trailer. He is fat. He's proper chubby. That's funny. He's trying to be a cop. Uh, in November we have. Um, Terminator. Oh, oh, that there's a couple of good films coming out by the looks of it. But Terminator's again, not one of them. Nah, Charlie's Angel, The Good Liar, Ford versus Ferrari. Yeah, that should be all right. Frozen Two. Uh, I haven't seen. I've never seen Frozen. Oh yeah, there's um yeah. Oh, there's some. Oh, oh my God, Jumanji comes out this year as well. Well, the second one. Yeah. Oh bloody hell. That's mental. That was Uncut good. Uncut Gem. Year. We're getting a fucking Adam Sandler movie. Oh, no, I thank hate you. this. Cats. 
Oh uh, my god, cats is gonna fucking ruin this. That comes out. Oh, yeah. That cat comes out at the same time as Star Wars. Well, they're fucked. Oh my god, that's but very brave. That's that's not gonna end well, I don't think, for cats. <laughs> no. Star Wars fans are pissed off for the moment, so they're gonna want to fucking go and see. Rise of Skywalker, whatever it's called. Yeah, well, if your alternative is cats, then yeah. how much did they make that for? Oh, cats, I reckon they they spunk their load oh, on the budget there. must have done. I mean, they got fucking loads of people in it as well. Yeah. Did you see the um, poster for Doolittle, the Robert Downey Jr. Oh, one yeah. today? It's got loads of people in it. Yeah, are they, oh, you guess they're all probably voices, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're all voices. Still, it's a fucking cracking cast. Yeah, for a probably not so cracking movie. Oh, okay, I can't find the, I can't find the um. Well, the budget. Yeah, I really want to though. No, they've not announced it. They've not released the budget yet. I want a Star Wars trailer. That's got to be at least a hundred million though, going into this. Oh yeah. At least. When was the last Jedi trailer released? It was October time. The last Jedi trailer official. Oh, I hate this. Star Wars, The Last Jedi trailer, brackets official. Star Wars, The Last Jedi official, oh, that's official teaser. Okay, <laughs> so this is the actual trailer. 10th of October, 27th. This should be coming, like, any day. De- fucking hell. Yeah, but think, they always do. They just, just drop it oh, right God. before, don't they? It's, yeah, come on, any minute now, we're going to fucking release it. It's not like we're not going to see it anyway. I can't wait to see it. Of course, you fucking nerd. Yeah, but this is our trilogy, if you really think about it. No, my trilogy ended with "Who were the chosen one?" <laughs> yeah, but we that's were, where my trilogy. We were like ended. what six? Yeah, yeah, we didn't go to the cinema. I'm a fucking it. adult now. I don't care about the Star Wars movies. I, I fucking do. I care about them if Hayden's in them. I reckon he'd be in this one. Yeah, because only because he we told met. me at London Comic Con 2019. He told me. Well, anyway, thanks for listening. Yeah, as always. I think that's going to wrap us up. And yeah. Uh, do we know what we got next week? Nope. No, Not at I all. Can't wait to see. Not anyway, cheers and bye. bye.